How's everyone doing today? It's uh, Wednesday. Um, what is it? What? Eight weeks since the quarantine started? Oh my goodness, my hair. Uh, okay, so first of all, number one, I gotta say, um, I'm very impressed with the way I've gone about everything during this quarantine. I've kind of kept, I've kind of kept my complexion going. You know, I've, I've kind of stayed on a regimented path. And um, eight weeks in is a uh, uh, how do I know that? Because I've been doing this little broadcast. I mean, not, not on YouTube, but on, on, on Instagram for about eight weeks now. Um, that being said, welcome to Social Happy Hour with yours truly, Peter Madrigal. We are going to have a fun day today. And what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about the power of social media. Uh, I'm going to have one of the um, head honchos over there at Cameo coming on today. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to talk about what social media brings to the world? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it indifferent? And I'm very curious about all of her answers because uh, the way I view social media, it helps people get out there more. If they want to be on social media and they want to like put themselves out there and they don't have a chance in other venues, they can still do it, you know? So and th I, that's what I love about, that's what I love about uh, YouTube. And that's what I love about Instagram. You know, you can actually just be, you know, do whatever you want to do in this day and age. Once you have like a good idea and, and, and you get people, people coming back to, for more. So I hope that, um, I hope that, uh, this show is entertaining enough for you guys. Um, I just got done with a, I just got done with an interview and he told me, he was all like the, what I equate with quarantine is social happy hour with Peter. That's what I equate with this quarantine. And I, I was actually a little flattered because I was like, wait, what? People actually are enjoying me talk about issues, you know, around uh, what's happening around uh, the globe with everybody as far as, you know, the, the quarantine goes and this, uh, this, whole, this whole thing that we're, we're dealing with. So I was kind of a little flattered about that. Um, that being said, uh, I'm ready for this thing to end. And uh, we will be talking about that tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have part two of uh, businesses opening up tomorrow. But for right now, we're talking about social media and where it's at and how, how social media has actually helped us throughout this whole event. Yes, I am serious about that. Some people say it's a good thing. Some people say it's a bad thing. I say it's, it can be both. If you let it take over your life, it can be a bad thing. But it's also a good thing to stay in touch with your friends and stay in touch with, um, with, the, with, with everybody outside and find out how everyone's doing during this time. You know, during a time like this, social media is essential. You know, it's only when you get wrapped up in it. That's when it can become a little bit, um, a little bit, uh, you know, wanky. You know what I mean? Yunky, yunky wanky, 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 whatever you want, whatever word you want to use. Um, I never thought I'd say this word before, but uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, comment and like the video. I hope that you do. I hope that you like my little, my little soliloquies here, my little um, rants, as it were. Um, and actually, if you want to come on live with me, just go and subscribe, and, uh, and, and the link should be uh, at the bottom on the Chiron for you, to, uh, for you to join us today, for you to join me, because I'm always curious as to what everyone's saying. And um, let me know in the comments uh, how, you like this, um, how you like this platform, in, this social media platform, in comparison to the Instagram platform. I hope you all are enjoying this show, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that everybody's here so far, you know, so cheers to everybody. It's uh, five o'clock somewhere. I've got a little bit of uh, rum in my glass. Mm. <clears throat> it's stolen rum right up there, right behind me. Anyway, Johnny, what do we have on deck today? Yes, if she wants to, if she wants more followers, she just has to post a little bit more. You got it? Okay, 
All right, great. Tell Jayla I said hi. Come on. Hi, <laughs> Johnny. Good. How are you? Just wrapping up a call. Sorry. What's what's oh, yeah, going yeah. on? With who? Ah, just you know, just clients, things, you know, just having uh, some fun with social I media. You. I got gotcha. you. That's uh, that's you, you. You're a big shot over here in uh, Hollywood. You know that, right? Oh, I don't. I mean, I'm I'm not even in Hollywood. I'm in Chicago, baby. You're a big shot in Hollywood, though. That's what I meant. <laughs> Well, hey, hey, over here. At least, at least you uh, represent some people overseas. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. And I do have some representation for uh, your brother overseas. So if he wants, uh, if he's looking for <laughs> representation overseas, I got him. I can take care of him. For him. Cheers to you, Johnny. Cheers, You're buddy. Awesome. Cheers, buddy. Sure. Hey, Vanderpump Robs, what's going on? Uh, Vanderpump Robs is always is always awesome. So, Johnny. The yes, question, sir. the topic of the day today is social media, the power of it. Are you good? Are you, do you like social media? Do you hate social media? Are you indifferent to social media? <laughs> what do you think? Because what I was saying today was, oh, you know, with social media, we were able to stay connected with everybody through this quarantine, throughout this time, this 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 uh thing we're going through. I don't want to say pandemic. I'm I'm kind of over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's 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 a love hate relationship. It's a necessary evil, uh, but it's it's the power. It's the it's the. I mean, I have one of my businesses is a marketing agency, and I wouldn't have the business if we didn't have social media and the internet and, and digital marketing. So, yeah. you know, that's for me. I created a business out of social media starting social media and then moving into everything else that's out there with the SEO, the PPC, uh, you know, uh, branding companies, you know, I work with celebrity brands also. Um, yeah. But I also, I, I built, actually built a proprietary software called DigiDash um, for, for clients, for brick and mortars and, and, and uh, uh, you know, bars, restaurants, I'm in the healthcare business, we're in the med spa business, uh, the celebrity business. And it's a great scheduler, uh, analytics scheduler. This is not a uh, a public service announcement or a. No, yeah, it's not a public service I'm not, I'm not trying, the thing. I'm not trying right to. Start, but. I'm stuck right in the middle with social media. So, because I love it, but at the same time, to me, it, it, it can be a little bit of a job because you're like, oh, you haven't posted today. Like, I had to take a break. On, actually, I took a break from everything on Memorial Day. I didn't post one thing. Didn't post a story. Didn't even look at Instagram. Nothing. You know. How, how did that feel? I mean, it didn't feel. I didn't feel any, like I because I view it. I think like we were talking about yesterday about hobbies. I feel like it's work for me. So taking a step back, it's no longer work. You know what I mean? So I could take a step back from everything from social media and not have to engage. You know, sometimes sometimes it can feel like work. So. You know, yeah. It's like, oh, I got to post something today. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I love it, you know, because it gives me freedom. But it also, um, you know, you can, uh, you can get. I, I don't want to get wrapped up in in uh, in social media. Like, you know, like I, I've known some people to get wrapped up in it, and they have to like detox and take a step back. So yeah, that's for me. Yeah. I mean, just just based off of this, you know, Instagram to this. This is two social media platforms that that I, you know, that I'm working with now. It's kind of it. I wouldn't be here without social media. Let's just put it that way. Well, you know, I mean, that's that's the thing. You know, it, it, it's, if you get wrapped up into it so much, you're not living your life. You're living your life on your phone. You're looking down like this. But yes, exactly. it, it, it's connecting people and you're and everybody's staying connected. I mean, people that you normally won't talk to on a, on a daily basis that you might want to talk with, you can just look and see the, their feed, see what their life, see what they're up to. And it's like you're connected you know, uh, from a distance, which is good right now because we're all social distancing. But yeah, exactly. You know, it, it's it's it is needed. That I mean, that's where we obviously are going, and it's never going to go away. But uh, you know, I, I uh, you got to get I away just, from it sometimes, but I think it's great. Well, you know, with this whole social distance distancing thing, it has benefited during this time. However, for me, I'm a I'm a I'm a connecting type of guy. I like being around people. You know, I work at I still work at Sir. Yeah, you know, I have I like I like being around people. I like interacting with people. So, it's been a little bit hard for me. That being right. said, you know, um, yeah, I'm I'm both I'm I'm the silver lining, as they say. I like I like both sides of it. I can see both sides. But yeah, yeah. Amy H said you always need a break from life. Yes, you do. 
Sometimes you just need to lay on your couch and take a nap. And that's probably what I'm going to do at the end of this broadcast, because let's face it, I need it. Speaking of broadcasts, who do we have on today on deck? I have, I connected with her. And if anybody wants a cameo from me, uh, you can go to, uh, you can visit the cameo page. You can go to cameo.com. You can also download the app um, and you can find me on cameo. Uh, I'm there, you know, if, uh, if you want a birthday wish, I, I tend to ramble. So I tend to go for about five minutes per cameo. So you definitely get your money's worth with me. That being said, I hope nobody gets bored because I just have a tendency to keep talking and talk, talking and talking. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, I don't know. I don't know why I like to do that. I just like to ramble a lot. Hey, I found a little video, your uh, video of you on oh, cameo. Let's play that. The let's intro play. To, the, to the cameo. Hello. Can I get you anything? Like a screen cleaner or something? I'm kidding, I'm joking. Y'all are probably wondering what I'm doing right now. Well, I'm just getting off of work here at Sir Restaurant, and I decided to officially announce that I'm doing Cameo. Wow, yay, awesome. Of course, yeah. So y'all are, you know, you like to have an interest in my life. I wanna have an interest in your life. That's why I'm joining Cameo joining cameo because i want to have an interest in you guys so um yeah i hope that uh i hope that i can be part of your life and uh i'm just gonna go back to drinking my wine right now because i don't know how to end this little segment here but y'all have heard it first here <laughs> let's bring a guest in from the green room let's do it pay everybody hey. Hi, Paige. How are you Hi. You What's up, Peter? Uh, not much. Just kind of chilling in my place, behind, in front of my bar, uh, where I just like to, you know, I, I hang out here pretty much every day. I work here. I do my, my, my chats here. And actually, I've done a few cameos from here, too. I was just going to ask. That's a nice cameo backdrop. Yeah. This is where I'm doing all my, uh, most of, a lot of my cameos now. I did three, like, yesterday. I'm going to do another one today or tomorrow. But yeah, this is where I do all my cameos from, right here. Like it's, I love that. And I haven't seen your in that not? intro video you did in so long, but it's so great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Classic. In your opinion, before we get into anything else, in your opinion, should I redo that or should I just keep it? I don't know. I kind of like it because it's been, you've been on now two years. So I kind of love that it's so classic, like from the beginning, you know? <laughs> I, was I one of the first ones on? Wait, before before we get started on that, what do you do for Cameo, Page? So my official title is Senior Talent Rep. So I manage, um, we call you talent. So I manage a, <laughs> I manage a book of about, well, we call it a book. I keep using terms that other people might not know. No, I get it though. I'm, yeah, I manage a group of really amazing people, um, about 250, um, you know, reality TV, musicians, actors, comedians, athletes. So I just am there to make sure that they have an amazing experience on the platform. Um, you know, we pride ourselves on the white glove service that other, you know, quote, competitors don't have. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I do. I'm just there to assist. As you know, like if you need anything, you can just text me. Exactly. So before <laughs> we get into anything else, do you have a drink today? Because this is social happy hour. I was not prepared for that. So I have a pre-workout from earlier. There we go. Well, pre-workout so works, baby. It, uh, it, it alters you in some way, just like a little bit of uh, does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell everybody, <clears throat> tell everyone. What is Cameo? Cameo is an app and a website where fans can go to connect with their favorite people. So we have, I think, over 30,000 talent now. Uh, we started, when I started, there was, I think, 2,000. So we've grown. Was I one of the first? I don't think so. Because we started getting people on before I was even there, like in 2017, and you joined in 2018. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So, but you were definitely like on the forefront of this. So you can tell people you got on the wagon before everyone else did. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love yeah, that. Okay. But, you know, so now um, you have 30,000 influencers on. 
Yeah, well, if you think about it, think of how many athletes there are, or just athletes, because you think of yeah. NFL, NBA, um, MLB, you know, college even. So, and then actors, you've got TV, you've got um, big movie actors, um, musicians, you've got rappers, you've got all the different genres. So there's so many people out there that fans want to connect connect with. And the reality yeah. TV is its own, you know, monster. So um we've got really something for everybody <laughs> but that's, yeah that's very true you've got something for everybody on this thing so basically what you how would you say describe it you describe it as a way for people to communicate with their favorite talent or what yeah it's how a way to connect with your favorite people um and get a personalized message for them and the you really don't even need a reason like you can just get one because you're a big fan and like I've gotten one from like an actor from Grey's Anatomy just to love the show so it was just like a way for me to ask questions about like things that I've wanted to know about the show that I would never have that opportunity to do before like even with you like they can ask you questions like behind the scenes questions about you know the show that no one's ever asked me that before Paige. really no that, and that's very interesting that you bring that up I never even thought about that myself that I could ask for a cameo from somebody telling me about you know such and such movie or you know such and such let's say like i i ask an nfl you know let's say i ask brett Favre about you know his past or whatever right. that's very interesting i never thought about that that's yeah very like cool. most of them are bought as gifts for like birthdays and graduation that's what i get i get know. that all the time what graduation gifts like, like oh, yeah. birthdays graduations yeah that's the biggest thing and that's what's great but we want people to know too it's fine to get one just for yourself. Just uh, if you have questions or you just kind of want to hear your favorite person say your name. Like, because people, as you know, if you just like their tweet, they like get excited. So if they just hear you say your name, they're excited. <laughs> That's interesting. I've never thought about that. Yeah, you don't need a reason. That's really cool. I'm very yeah. even keel about stuff. So yeah, I've never really, I'm not a real egotistical person, as you probably can tell. <laughs> well, that's why no. your cameos are so good, because you'll just talk to them like you're like buddies. Well, uh, to get into that, before we even get into the social media aspect of what the topic is today, because this is very interesting to me, and I want everybody to know about me being on a cameo. It's kind of fun. Um, so, <laughs> okay, how do I <laughs> phrase this? Um, I did a little research on Cameo. I, I did a little digging to some of the folks that are on there. And I've seen some people have a, a, a price point for like $2.99. So there's, a, there's a YouTuber out there who's a big Eagles fan. I'm not going to say his name because it's kind of like it's not, it's not for this show. But he's a big Eagles fan. That's all he talks about. And he's on Cameo. And I'm just like, what is this dude doing on Cameo? It's kind of hilarious. It really is funny. Yeah. Um, so uh, what is like the highest, what is the highest range in price and the lowest range in price? Because this guy is like $2.99 for his I cameo. think we have people on there for a dollar. Really? Yeah. And I've had, um, I work with someone who was on The Bachelor. And one day he was like, I just want to be free. And I'm like, okay, like that's his prerogative. I told him he'd get overwhelmed, which he did. But yeah, you can be whatever price you want. So the cheapest is probably a dollar, like or free. And the most expensive is Caitlyn Jenner. She's twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred for a for a cameo from Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Well, that makes me feel a lot better for just like what a hundred bucks. Yeah, that's, you're cheap. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh God, I had a hundred dollars. Oh man. <laughs> So in comparison, oh Jesus, oh yeah. God, okay. But it's because so, she doesn't want to do a lot of them, obviously. So of course, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. So if you get a cameo from Caitlyn Jenner, it's like, okay, you spend a lot of money on this puppy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That may, okay, I, I get it. Um, so uh, as far as like it's staying on cameo, we're still going to get to social media uh, on this social happy hour with Peter. We're with Paige right now. Um, so out of all the cameos. What's the now? What's the longest in duration? Because I have a tendency, if you haven't noticed yet, I have a tendency to keep on ranting, talking. <laughs> I can't help it. You know what I mean? If I know. Says, I like Let's say that. happy birthday to my sister or my girlfriend. I'm all like, happy birthday, and by the way, do this, that, and the third, and uh, I hope you get wasted because that's what I would be doing, etc. You know what I mean? Stuff like yeah. that. People are getting their money's worth with you, which is nice. 
I like to I like to think that, right? Is that is that am I pretty accurate on that? Yeah, no, and I think I think fans appreciate that. Um because it really feels like personalized and authentic, you know. It's I not love that. it's yeah, not yeah, a short well, scripted like thing, you know. And that's why I do it for like five minutes, because I want to make sure everyone gets their money's worth, you know? Yeah. No, that's is great. That, huh? That's awesome. I love that you do that. I mean, that's what I, I mean, like, for instance, when I first started this uh, series of uh, Social Happy Hour, I started on Instagram and I would just invite anybody who wants to come on. And to, right now, if you want to come on, just click the link and, and, uh, and request to be on. You can, you can request to be on right now. So whoever wants to come on, just click the link. I'm always down to talk to everybody. That's, that's why I created this whole uh, platform. But the reason why I migrated from uh, Instagram to YouTube was because it was getting a little... Yeah, Instagram wasn't able to handle the, the the volume, so that's why I'm switching over. But anyway, so as long as uh, what's the shortest one that you've ever seen? Like, do do people actually? Do some of these guys actually come in and and say like, "Oh, happy birthday! I hope you're well." Bye. You know? Yeah, I've seen like 10, 15 second cameos. There's probably even shorter ones than that. Um, and kind of, there's been like you know, YouTube comedians or like Instagram influencers that that's kind of their thing, like their shtick, like they don't charge very much. Like they'll charge like five or $10 just to yeah. send like, and do a ton of them, but they're going to be short, but fans know that. So they're fine with it. But the longest actually happened this week. It's funny you ask. It was 80 minutes long. Yeah. I didn't even know that was possible to upload that in our app. So it's good to know our, our capabilities are there. Our app holds up with an 80 minute cameo. So yours are not long compared to that. <laughs> I might have to, I wonder what this cameo consisted of. Whose cameo was this? I can't remember who, but now I need to watch it, but I don't know if I want to watch it. Cause any. now I'm like, okay, well I'm gonna, do, the next cameo that I do is gonna be very long. <laughs> yeah, before that, I know it was like 22 minutes was I think the. Okay. Okay, you know, I got you. Record, so that was a new one. But I don't think okay. you need to spend 80 minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to spend 80 minutes, but I'm going to make it a little longer than usual. I'm going to try it. I'm going to go for it. I I really am. How does anybody go <laughs> about getting that eater. video? Huh? Shoot for the stars. <laughs> I am. I am. I'm shooting. I am shooting, baby. How does someone go about getting a cameo? Getting a cameo? Yeah. They can just go to cameo.com, our website, or they can download the Cameo app and get it there. So two different ways, both very easy. Okay, gotcha. Sounds good. Now, time for the topic of the day, because I had to interview you, because I, I was like, um, you know, I needed to, <laughs> I, I had to ask you some questions, because I, <laughs> I don't know why, I just love this topic, a Cameo, because like <laughs> I said, I did some digging, and uh, I found that one guy who's, like I, like I said, he's a YouTuber, he does, you know, like, he's, he's a huge Eagles fan. You, anybody watching this probably has seen him before. Huge Eagles fan. And, uh, and his cameos cost $2 and like 99 cents, something like that. They're very mm -hmm. cheap. And, and someone, and the reason why I found it is because someone did a video of like, cause he's an Eagles fan and this, uh, Patriots fan did a cameo and asked him to talk about the Patriots and he just went off like it was the worst cameo ever. So <laughs> have you ever dealt, have you ever dealt with something like that before where someone's just cussing up a storm? In a cameo? Yeah. Not that I've seen, um, you know, we do prohibit any sort of like hate speech, obviously, or violence of course. cameos. Um, I've seen some cussing, but nothing like crazy but then again there have been so many there's almost been a million cameos made we're actually almost there yeah so it's i haven't been able to see all of them so i'm sure i've missed some pretty crazy ones yeah. um, but the ones that stand out to me are just like like really funny ones um like i think my one of my favorites is lance bass someone bought a cameo from him it was uh -huh. a husband for a wife and apparently he had like left food out on the counter all night and like ants got everywhere. So he used Lance Bass to apologize to his wife. And it was so funny that he, That's amazing. That's like true. that's how he apologized. And like there's no way someone could be mad after that. Like after Lance Bass nope. apologizes nope. for leaving food out and ants got everywhere. <laughs> that's amazing. That's that's awesome, actually. Very creative. So, so topic of the day. 
Um, uh, power of social media. Do you think it's good, bad? Because here's the thing, your, the, the company you're with feeds directly into social media. Feed, like that, like it, it, is a, it is linked to social media. It, it, does that make sense? Yeah. Because if, if you have a bunch of followers, that means uh, whether on YouTube or Instagram or wherever, or you know, Twitter, you're gonna, you're probably gonna be able to get some cameos done because people are gonna be like, oh, I want a, I want a cameo from, you know, uh, Brett Favre, you know. Yeah, and I mean, we, and then you have fans that share their cameo, cameos all over social media too. What do you mean? Like fans that um, buy a cameo from you will most likely share it on social media to show all their friends and family, and you know, we've seen cameos that go viral like on Barstool Sports, like it's happened so i mean it is intertwined for sure what do you think about what do you think about the power of social media is it good bad indifferent what do you what, what are your thoughts i mean i definitely think it can be like instagram and twitter can be so negative um it's easy to sit behind a computer and be mean Criticize. and especially like in facebook even like i'm from a small town so mm -hmm. People like to put their opinions out there and they, you know, will get in arguments over fa on Facebook about their political views um, that they probably wouldn't say in person. So I think it's yeah, easy of course. to be a bully and it's like, even someone like you, like it's easy for people to just come at you on Instagram because they're like, well, I don't know him, so I can just say whatever I want, but that's not yeah. okay. So I think in that way it's negative and especially for like young kids that are dealing with body image issues like they see all these like Instagram models that are auto-tuned to look perfect and it's just like if I was a young girl right now I'd probably be so insecure because that's like what I'm looking at but luckily we're older and we know that's not real yeah it's true I don't think there's so many positive things like like cameo itself like I think is can be so positive and yes that's why I love it so much is because the requests are positive. The cameos that people do are positive motivation. Um, so I think there's definitely things you can get out of it. I think it's how you use it and how like you respond and communicate with it, if that makes sense. If but, you're not a destructive force and you don't want to be like a, an ass and, and make fun of uh, people on online, then yeah, it's a, it's a good tool. Right. That, and that's the way I view social media personally. It's a tool. You know, yeah. if I want to get a message out there like, oh, I'm moving to YouTube. Or I'm doing a uh, I'm doing a broadcast every day. Uh, that's you use uh, you use Instagram and Twitter for that, you know. So right. uh, that's the way I view that's the way I view social media. But I try not to get too hooked. And it's like I told my producer earlier. Um, I told him I was off of social media for like an entire day because I was just like I didn't want to deal with it. You know what I mean? So I yeah, I think like, that's smart to like limit yourself. I was yeah, just exactly. You kind of detox a little bit. You don't yeah. put up a story of your of your drink or something. You know, it's like ah. I've done it before. I I'll, I'll do it again eventually. You right. know, I don't need to. I don't need to put up another story of a of a of a piece of pie that I'm eating or whatever it is. <laughs> right. Know? And and I feel like I need to get out of that bad habit. I'm in a bad habit, and I think a lot of people are. But like the second I wake up, I open my phone. The set, you know, when I'm going to bed, I'm on. So like, it's always in my hand. So I I need to try to get out of that habit of like. Yeah. Really and I'm in, total, I'm, I'm in total agreement with you. The first thing, I mean, like, I don't look at it the first thing out of bed. Sometimes I do. But uh, like today, for instance, I just rolled out of bed, made my bed, went and worked out, you know. And that's when I started responding to text messages later, you know. Because yeah. it's always like, I'm not going to respond to anybody right now. I want to focus and get done with these first two things to right. start my day off right. Yeah, you know? that's a good idea. I need to, like, make it a point to, like, not look at social media at least if I'm going to look up. Right them. away, yeah. Because I, I like I like I said I, I wake up to a bunch of messages every morning and I'm like I'm not dealing with that right now I'm going to work out make my bed and work out Boom. one <laughs> that's two. good I've been making my bed too it really helps you feel productive first thing yeah right <laughs> away like and then and then working the, the added benefit of working out like you feel productive right out the gate you know what I mean because sure. you know your day is going to be you, you, anything to be thrown at you in the day and you might as well start off on the right foot you know yeah. and that's the way I feel about it. Yeah. I mean, how do you think with social media being like, you know, celebrity, how do you feel about it? Because obviously, like, I mean, I'm not a celebrity. I'm just a guy. Well, but to, to a lot of people, you are, you know, and okay. I feel like it can be good and bad. So how do you do you think like 
mainly good or I mean I see it I see it as a very I see it I see it mostly good I mean I you, you do have to take a break out uh, uh, from social media sometimes so it's like a silver lining yeah. If you use it too much, it's it'll be it'll take over your entire life. If you use it too little, then you're getting left behind the dust. And, and if you if it's your primary source of like business, right. then that's not a good thing, you know. I recently I was I was in a because I, I own part of the celebrity slots, which is coming out very uh, it's coming out next week, guys. You just type in uh, celebrity slots into a Google or Apple Store, and you'll be able to download uh, the celebrity slots game, which is going to include Peter Rific slots. Woo! <laughs> um, if I'm not telling anybody that on my social media platforms, nobody's going to know, you right. know? So I have to, I, it's, that's a, it's a good thing for that, but it's also, it can be a bad thing if you're like, if you're obsessing over it or you're not, you know, and you're not being productive for the rest of your day. So it, it's all about balance in my opinion. Yeah. And it's just like anything in life, you know, right. if you're, if you're drinking way too much, which I have been personally, same, so, you know, same. <laughs> I have to like I need to like relax. <laughs> there you go. Cheers to that. Here I am. If you're drinking way too much, cheers. Yeah, as you have a drink in your hand. At least you're admitting it. That's step one. Yeah, it's you know, like so um too much of a good thing can lead to being a bad thing, you know? Yeah. That's the way I view it. So as long as you have like self-control and control over it, then it, it's not gonna it, it's not going to be a bad thing, you know? Right. Yeah. For sure. That makes sense? Yeah. I agree. Okay. Awesome. Paige, uh, it was amazing talking to you. This was uh, actually like, this was an amazing interview. I, I was, I was very excited for this interview because this is like, this is, uh, this, this gets into the part of something that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a part of again. <laughs> we love having you part of Cameo too. It's, it's been oh, fun working you. with you. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. I will say that because I is. just get to talk in the camera like I'm doing right now and just ramble. <laughs> But it has a purpose all the time. Exactly. Paige, it was amazing talking to you. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks, Peter. You too. Bye. Bye. And that was uh, that was uh, Paige from uh, from Cameo. She's uh, she's what I like to call our wrangler for um, for uh, for all of us influencers that. Uh, you know, just in case we don't go off the rails, because some of us can a little bit. I'm kidding. I don't go off the rails at all. Anyway, um, Johnny, is there anybody else in the green room that we have today? I think we're going. Uh, I think that was a great interview. I think you're I can't okay. hear you, Johnny. Are you OK? Yeah. Can you hear, can hear you? Me? Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I, can't, can hear I can't hear you. I can hear you. Oh, maybe I should call you. He's on the phone now. Be right back. <laughs> He's on the phone now, which means that we're probably going to have to end this uh, right now. Let's read some comments, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But I finished my drink, so um, I'm going to read some comments really quick, and then I'm going to take off. Charity Hack, hey there. Hi, Charity. How are you? I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you're drinking uh, a little bit on this social happy hour. I know I finished my drink. I couldn't help it. Um, Peter, I keep getting your texts, and, but always miss because I'm busy, mom of four. Well, um, you know, one of these days, Heather, come on the show. Come on live with me. I, I'm, I'm curious to hear back from you, uh, you know, being a mother of four. I'm, I'm curious as to how you're holding up. Uh, quarantine social happy hour with Peter. I concur. Yes, actually, yes. You should come on one of these days. Uh, cr uh, crow. Happy hour is the chilly is the chillest hang. Yes, it is. It's very chill, and I enjoy doing this every day. I've been doing this for eight weeks now. Can you believe that, guys? It's been eight weeks in this, since I started doing this on Instagram, and then migrated over a couple weeks ago. It's been a uh, it's been amazing, but at the same time, interesting. I've gotten to meet a lot of interesting people. Uh, that's the beauty of social media. You get to connect with um, with with people you probably would never connect with. Happy birthday to Guillermo. Yes, I wish him happy birthday on his, on his Instagram page today. Um, I, hope, I hope that he's having an amazing day. Amy, we love you. Well, I love you too. Uh, I hope that you're, you're having an awesome day as well. Michelle, have you ever been to a Pisco? Have you ever made Pisco Punch? Tell you the truth, Michelle, I'm not a fan of Pisco. I've never really drank Pisco before. Um, you know, I, I tasted it and it was not for me. 
Is that this? Is that the liquor from Brazil? Because like, not it's not the cachaça, but it's a uh, pisco. I'm not a fan. I really am not. Everyone, go check out PeterRiffingMerch.com. You just type it into the uh, you type it into the bar www.peterrithmerch.com and uh, Celebrity Slots is coming out next week. Get ready to play against yours truly. It is going to be a lot of fun and you're also going to be able to win prizes from yours truly. Like uh, like the candles that I got. I'm going to be sending these off to somebody today actually because they ordered some off of my Peter Rific Merch website but uh, that, that's coming up you know next. I got to go and uh, I got to go send them out. Um, but yeah, you're going to be able to probably win candles, win hats, uh, like the Peterific slot hat. And uh, you never know what the grand prize is going to be. So um, stay tuned. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 3.30 Pacific Standard Time for a social happy hour with Peter. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about quarantine part two, reopening the nation, reopening everything. I'm going to have some interesting guests on tomorrow talking about the, uh, the reopening of their um, businesses actually. So join me tomorrow, 3.30. I hope to see you guys then.